what's going on youtube world it's your girl kimberly in the garden and i wanted to give you guys an overall garden update okay so you know i started planting everything um around about april the 29th of this year through yesterday <laughs> june what is this like june the 4th yeah so i wanted to show you guys how things are growing in my garden my 200 stalks of okra. They are doing great. Nice tall stems. Everything is growing. The okra looks good. Now keep in mind, okra can get up to six, seven feet tall easily. <laughs> no problem whatsoever. Um, I want to show you guys this this is what my proudest moment is see this flower right here that's closed up that is a beautiful flower and when you see any flowering on any of your vegetation that you have planted you have done very well because flowers mean fruitage that means food so anytime you see a flower you're doing good in your garden and I'm very proud to see that flower on my okra plants this is 113 of the plants here and then I have the remaining which equals a total of 200 okra plants planted here all the way down which basically borders my backyard this is how much we love okra in my household <laughs> so I had to make sure this season that I planted enough okra to emotionally satisfy my household. <laughs> this is all okra going all the way down the fence. And the plants actually look really, really good. There were a few casualties and I'm okay with that. I, it doesn't bother me when I have a few of my okra plants that may not survive for whatever reason. Um, Especially when you're buying plants from your local gardener, uh, nursery, grocery store, whatever, um, there, there could be a casualty. You just replace it and you move on. So no big deal, no stress. So the okra looks really good. Getting tall and growing just fine. So I'm very proud of my okra. Now let's step over here to this side. Sweet potatoes, they take a very, very long time to grow. And they are a low maintenance plant, but it still is uh, something that I don't put in the ground because they grow very viney. And with that being said, they are very hard to dig up once you put them in the soil. Even if your soil is really sandy and loose, once they get down in there and they start linking to one another and growing and attaching to one another, they're very hard to dig up. So personally, I like to make my garden easy on myself and that's why I put my sweet potatoes in a container. Planted these on 428. And they seem to be doing just fine. We have over here some lettuce and I actually harvested some lettuce yesterday for an amazing salad that I had. It was really, really good. Um, so we got some lettuce here. We got some flat Italian parsley and my other favorite herb, which is cilantro in the back here. We have another rosemary that I just planted the other day, Italian oregano. Then we have some more parsley here. Doing really, really good. Now we're physically going to step into my garden. Welcome to my garden. <laughs> Let's, matter of fact, let me do this. Let's just stand back and just get over. I want you guys to see. This is some love right here. Somebody told me that my garden looks like a cage slash an amazing chicken coop. <laughs> and I thought, yeah, I guess it kind of does because i'm all about protecting my harvest protecting all of my hard work and this is what i had to do so this is my garden this season you guys see look at that clean well protected i got the bricks around the base here 
I have netting on the top here to protect it from the birds. It's all secured. I'm not even concerned about anything getting into my garden. So that's the outside look of my garden. I got my homemade trellis there in the middle. It's a beautiful day. When you put forth all this work of planting, tilling, <laughs> maintaining, you want to make sure your garden is protected. So come with me. Let's go in the inside of my garden. When you step into my garden, the first thing you're going to see is a beautiful row of small flowers that are going to grow here. They're going to attract bees. That is the reason why I have flowers growing inside my garden. And I also repotted, or should I say, transplanted my one of my strawberry plants from a pot to right here. And as you can see, there was a strawberry growing right there. My very, very, very favorite part of my garden is my watermelon patch <laughs> or moat, whatever you want to call it. I love it. I don't care. It's a beautiful day. Two things. I love fresh fruit and I love gators. So I have both <laughs> in my garden. These are my gator babies. Look at my gator babies. My cousin said, I'm the only one with a black gator. And I said, hey, sometimes it takes just one person to change the world. <laughs> so there's my black gator. He's so cute. And this is what I'm also proud of. Look at how my watermelon, they are growing amazingly well. Look at this. This is my watermelon. Watermelon is not hard to grow but it prefers very hot temperatures hence the reason that I have this black sheet down this black covering the black netting down um, it helps draw the heat into the ground which watermelon love heat so if you've ever tried to grow watermelon and let's say you just put it in a container yes it may grow viney you're gonna have vines growing everywhere but then you'll notice like why don't I have that many watermelon growing well, because maybe you don't have enough hot, consecutive hot days of 79 plus degrees in your area, or you need to incorporate the black tarp down to assist in drawing the heat to your plants. But this is how my watermelons start off. I purchase my watermelons by plants. They come small and cute, and then they start to stem out and get these very beautiful creative designed leaves look at this the leaves are even the leaves are just beautiful then they get the little fuzz on them like that and they just start growing so i'm very very proud of my watermelon um i have an assorted version of watermelon i have the black diamond watermelon as you can see these are planted on may the 8th and i also have the crimson tide a crim crimson sweet excuse me watermelon and what I'm gonna do, as I showed you guys in the other video, I'm gonna let them grow all the way down in this entire area. This entire section is just for my watermelon because watermelon grows very, very viney. So that's the watermelon patch. Protected again by my beautiful gators. Now, we'll walk down the path. We'll look over here. These are my squash plants. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine squash plants here growing very well. They're all in the mounds. These are my squash plants here. And they are growing very well. I just posted the video showing you guys how to protect all of your vegetation from white flies or amphids um, by using the spray bottle method, which helps. In the middle, my cucumbers are doing amazing. Look at the cucumber plants. You see all those beautiful flowers? That means growth. <laughs> and I am proud to say that my cucumber plants have a lot of flowers on them. That's a beautiful thing. Let's zoom in a little bit closer here. If you look close, you can actually see cucumbers right here. See that? There's a flower and then there's an actual cucumber that's gonna grow. 
that's what they look like if you've never seen a cucumber start off this is what it looks like beautiful and that is my cucumbers here's some more of my squash plants here over here we have tomatoes growing three tomato plants and you see tomatoes <laughs> There's another one. It's so cute. It's a little one. But it's cute. We have at least one or two on each plant. There's two on this one. Okay. We have rosemary here. I love rosemary. That's why I have more than one plant. And then I planted some on the outside of my garden so it's easy for me to access without opening my garden every time that I want rosemary. Okay, then here are our bell pepper plants. Planted those on 426. They look really close. See at the top, you can see the bell peppers, the little flowers right there on the top of the plant. From those flowers, they will have a grain bottom. That's your bell pepper. See that one with the grain bottom? That's your bell pepper right there. So this whole entire row is all bell peppers. Then I have my lavender in the corner here. Next to that, this um, darker dirt, that's all lettuce. Here's a larger stem of lettuce. I eat off of this almost every day. Here is my globe basil, doing very well. Starting to actually get its shape, hence the word globe. <laughs> This is all lettuce. See those little, um, the green and the darker mixed lettuce here, starting to grow from seed. This lettuce is growing from seed. And this is all lettuce here. It's growing all the way down to, again, another rosemary plant. <laughs> here are my rows of onions and garlic doing very very well here's another strawberry plant I actually just harvested from this one the other day here's bell peppers more again flower means food so there are some more flowers on this bell pepper plant harvested from my kale the other day that's what this is here are my honeydew melon and cantaloupe doing very well see they're getting tall I planted these on May the 8th and they're doing very very well I love Superman so I got an S in my garden <laughs> also flowers to attract bees here are my jalapeno peppers and my cabbage plants beautiful cabbage plants grow very very large so you may want to space these out um, I planted these on April the 16th and look how they are growing. I spray these also with the um, water and baby shampoo mixture because if you don't, this is what will happen. There is a green worm that will eat the leaves of your cabbage plant. So you want to make sure that you keep these sprayed um, with the shampoo mixture because they will look healthy like this plant beautiful leaves and in that middle part right there that's where you're going to get your cabbage from out of the middle part of the plant of course people eat the leaves too so no problem my bell pepper plants here more flowers in the middle to attract bees made out of a heart shape another glow basil jalapeno peppers my strawberry this was my season two seasons before strawberries in a in my container and i took some out of this container and actually placed them on the front of my garden and then that section down there so here's some strawberries that are growing i harvested some yesterday some strawberries right there 
I put cinnamon sticks in here. It does help cut down on the ants because ants love to eat strawberries. Here is my new addition, which is a Navajo blackberry bush. And if you look closely, my blackberry bush is actually doing very well. Look at that beautiful berries on there all the way down and I planted this on 515 when I purchased the actual plant it already had the green berries on there now they're starting to get that pinkish reddish color then they're gonna turn black and now I'm gonna have blackberries so when I purchased the blackberry plant like I said it already had the blackberries on there I did not start from a base plant my new addition more squash plants that I planted just yesterday. I love squash. And this is a test that I'm doing. I'm planting squash in the ground with the foil and in containers without the foil to see if I still have issues with this particular bug that burrows through the root of my squash plants. This is just with uh, soil manure that I purchased from the store versus planting it in the ground. This row here, is all carrots look really close if you've never seen how a carrot looks when it starts to grow there it is it's the top of a carrot so this whole section here is carrots and that is basically my garden you guys I've also planted some peppermint plants on the outside of my garden in that container there on the very outside of the garden because it helps keep down or prevent any animals that don't like that scent from trying to get in your garden. Even though my garden is forded very well, protected very well, I'm not really concerned about it, but I just, you know, any precautions you can take is the best thing to do to protect your garden. Even adding a little snake or two. <laughs> All right, you guys, well, that's how my garden grows. I'm very happy to share these videos with you guys. I love you guys. Keep watching, keep subscribing, and never give up on gardening because, again, it's trial and error, and only you can make your garden grow better. Love you guys. And now, back to work. <laughs>